Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Robotics Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will explain how to install and run a lighter on a Raspberry Pi by using Linux Ubuntu and ROS2 Jazzy. Here's the experimental setup. It consists of a low-cost lighter produced by Slamtech. It is A1M8 lighter that costs less than $100, then I have Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 GB of RAM and in addition to this Raspberry Pi I'm using an external solid state drive to improve the performance of my Raspberry Pi and that's it. Raspberry Pi 4 is running Linux Ubuntu 24.04 and ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco. Over here you can see our vis visualization of LiDAR measurements. You can see clearly the points. This line over here is a wall in my room and I can move the LiDAR and show you how the picture will change. So here's my LiDAR and if I move the LiDAR, if I rotate it, you can see how the scanning picture changes, changes in real time. You can even put your hand somewhere here and if you move your hand, you will see that the hand will be detected. The range of this lighter is around 12 meters and the update frequency is 10 Hz. In this tutorial, I will teach you, number one, how to download all the files necessary to install this lighter. Number two, how to build a lighter package in ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco and Ubuntu 24.04 and finally number three how to start RVs and how to visualize lighter measurements. Everything explained in this video tutorial applies to any lighter produced by Slamtech. Then everything explained in this tutorial can be used in the case of Raspberry Pi 5 or in the case of ROS2 Humble and Ubuntu 22.04. In addition to this video tutorial, I created several other tutorials explaining how to install Ubuntu 24.04 on Raspberry Pi 4, then I created a video tutorial explaining how to overclock Raspberry Pi 4, also I, explained, I created a video tutorial explaining how to install ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco and Raspberry Pi 4. Before we start with explanations, let's first talk about prerequisites and let's give important notes. First of all, in this tutorial we are using a Slamtech lighter. In particular, we are using a Slamtech RP lighter A1M8. However, if you're using any other lighter produced by Slamtech, you can also use this tutorial to make it work. We will explain how to install any Slamtech LiDAR device later on in this tutorial. In particular, a Slamtech RP LiDAR A1M8 has a range of 12 meters and the update frequency of 10 Hz. It costs less than $100 and it's an excellent device for learning robotics, SLAM and navigation, as well as building a low-cost mobile robot. It's a USB lighter that can directly be interfaced with a desktop computer or Raspberry Pi. Then you need to have Raspberry Pi 4 or 5. In this tutorial, we are using Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 GB RAM. However, if you have Raspberry Pi 5, even better, since Raspberry Pi 5 is faster than Raspberry Pi 4 and the performance will be even better. We overclocked the GPU and CPU of our Raspberry Pi 4 to improve its performance. We created a separate video tutorial on how to overclock the Raspberry Pi 4. A link is provided in the description below this video. Then you need to have a working installation of Linux Ubuntu and ROS2. In this tutorial, we are using Linux Ubuntu 24.04 and ROS2 Jazzy. However, with almost no modifications, that is, only one word has to be changed in the installation instructions, you can also use this tutorial in the case of any other ROS2 and Linux Ubuntu versions, such as ROS2 Humble and Linux Ubuntu 22.04. However, 
ROS2 Jazzy is the newest version of ROS2 and if you're completely new to ROS2 then we suggest to start learning ROS2 Jazzy since it will be officially supported until 2029. We created a video tutorial on how to install Linux Ubuntu 24.04 and ROS2 Jazzy and the link is provided in the description below this video. Other versions of ROS will not be supported after 2027. But before I explain the installation instructions, I need to mention the following. Currently, I'm recording my screen, mouse pointer and all the commands that I will execute by using a software. And this software is running on my Raspberry Pi 4. This software consumes a lot of computational power of my Raspberry Pi 4 and consequently sometimes you will observe that my voice will break or you will see some glitches. This is mainly due to the fact that this software is using a lot of computational power. Also, you will notice that sometimes it's slow to execute some commands. This is not because of Raspberry Pi 4. Instead, this is because of my software. Okay, so let's start with the explanations. The first step is to open a terminal and let's do that. Click here and search for terminal. And now you can see how my Raspberry Pi is actually slowed down since it will take some time to open a terminal and this is mainly because I'm using this software. Okay, let me now resize my window such as you can see what I'm typing. And as always, the first step is to source our environment. Consequently, we need to execute this command. So let's do it. And let's execute it. Again, the execution is slowed down by my video. Not too bad, actually. Next, you need to go to the home folder and you can do that by typing this. Then you need to create our workspace folder. To create a workspace folder, you need to execute this. Then you need to put this option P and you need to specify the name of the folder. The name of the folder is WS Lighter and over here I will create another folder inside of WS Lighter and I will call that folder source. Then let's navigate to the newly created folders. That is, let's navigate to the source folder and in this source folder, we will execute this command. Let me explain this command. This command will actually download or clone the remote driver repository. Namely, SlamTech provides us drivers and the drivers are given on this web address github.com slamtech and over here you have this git file that's the start file that we need to download so what will happen now we are going to download the complete remote repository and all the drivers as well as the ROS2 source package that we need to build locally that is to emphasize again this website doesn't contain a completely built package, it only contains source files that we need to build on our local machine. So let's execute this command and let's be patient. Okay, not too bad. Now if you type here ls-la, you will see that this folder is downloaded and inside of this folder there are the source files that we need to build. Next, to build the source files, we need to go to the base workspace folder that is we need to go here and over here we need to execute this build command that is we need to type colcon build simlink install and let me copy this thing again I see that it's slower because I'm recording this video so please be patient since this will take some time and let's execute this command colcon build simlink install and the execution of this command might take a while 
After probably a minute, you will see this output summary, one package finished and one package had standard error output. Okay, now if you scroll all the way up, you will see that we don't have errors, we actually have compilation warnings, which you can simply ignore. Okay, now that we build our package, you can type this over here and you can see that several new folders are created. Oops, I made an error here. You can see that several folders are created. Build, install, log, and this is our original source folder. Okay, the next step is actually to source our package. To do that, we need to execute this file over here. Namely, inside of this installation folder, there is the file setup.bash and by executing this file we are going to create an overlay that is we are going to set up all the variables and configure our package such that we can execute it from the command line the next step is to actually plug in your lighter to your computer or better to say to your raspberry pi and now you will hear in the background what will happen once i plug in my lighter you can probably hear that the lighter is spinning. The next step, we need to make sure that our USB port through which our lighter is connected has the proper permission such that we can read the data from our lighter. To do that, you need to type this command, ls-la, then you need to list all the files in this folder device, then we need to filter the name such that we see USB and over here you can see TTY USB 0 this is the name of the USB port that's used to communicate with our lighter next you can see that they are not that not all users have read permissions consequently we need to set all the permissions and to set the permissions properly you need to execute this command now, over here, if you see some other name, for example, TTYUSB1, then you should use that number. However, in my case, it's TTYUSB0, and I'm going to press Enter, then enter my password, and that's it. Now, again, we can see that everyone can read, write, and execute this file, and this is very important. And that's basically it. Now. To run this slider, we need to execute this command. So, we need to type this. This command will do several things. First of all, ROS2 launch is the name of the command. Then, as slider ROS view, as slider A1, as actually I have to be careful here, ROS2 launch is the name of the command, then slider underscore ROS is the name of the package, and over here we are executing the launch file whose name is view slider a1 launch. So what will happen now, once we execute this launch, everything will be set up and our Viz visualization software will start and you are going to see a map produced by your lighter. Now, after I execute this, my voice might break, so forgive me for that, since RViz is going to consume a lot of computational resources, as well as the software used to record this video. So let's press enter and let's see what happens. And here is the software. You can zoom in the map produced by your lighter. And if, for example, if you move the lighter, you will see how the map is going to change as the lighter scans everything. Next, let's analyze the usage of our CPU and memory. Click here to open a new terminal window. 
and in this new terminal window type top and let's analyze what's happening behind the scenes. You can see my CPU consumption over here. Kazam, this is the software used to record this video, is consuming most of my CPU power. Then Xorg is consuming significant power and you can see Arvis is also consuming significant power and my GNOME shell then consumes also significant power as well as some other programs seen over here. However, as you can see over here, the most issues with CPU come from this recording video and there will be no issues running RVs on your Raspberry Pi 4. At the beginning of this tutorial, I mentioned that you can use everything explained here to run any other lighter produced by SlamTech. And let me explain how to do that. Over here, open a new terminal and execute this command. This command will list all the launch files inside of our base folder under source and over here you will have the package folder and in the launch folder you will see all the launch files. And here are the launch files. For example, I use this launch file to execute my code. That is to run the driver for A1 lighter and you can see these other numbers and letters. These are the numbers and letters for other lighters. For example, if you want to run RP lighter A2M7, you will simply need to find that file. Let's find it. Here it is. Or M8, for example, this one. Or any other. For example, A2M12. Here it is. And you simply need to type ROS2 launch S lighter ROS2, that's the name of the package, and you just need to specify the name of the launch file. For example, you can run A2M7, A2M8, A2M12, and then you can also run A3, C1, S1, S2, etc. You just need to look into the name of the corresponding launch file, and that's it. Simple as that. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.